your tour guides. I am Maria Morris. I'm Emily Bland. And I'm Amy O'Kane. Join us as we cruise through downtown Washington and enjoy stops around three of the six critical components. Database problem solving, three-tiered instructional model, and data evaluation. Buckle up and enjoy your ride. This year, we focused on true database problem solving and how to use universal screening data to problem solve at the core level. Our schools have been very intentional about making this change. Previously, problem solving focused on the individual students. However, we are seeing how impactful it is to problem solve at the core and group level. We provided professional learning on using a structured problem solving model and resources to problem solve around attendance, behavior, SEL, and academics. We are excited to have a number of schools model core problem solving around literacy, math, and behavior. They have been gracious enough to record and share these intentional and effective data meetings with our school leadership teams. Our district team sees the importance of continuing our own professional growth and learning. We participated in the district level pilot of the facilitated assessment of MTSS. This was facilitated by our regional IABS consultants. We utilized the data from the FAMD to make adjustments to district level MTSS implementation. Through our participation, we saw the need for structured district data meetings to drive coaching, support, and decisions. Through our district data meetings, we are able to target specific school needs across the district and be more intentional with supports provided. These meetings take place monthly when we analyze attendance, behavior, SEL, and academic data. We ensure representation is active for all district staff across all areas. In Beaufort County, we are happy to say that all 14 schools utilize the school level facilitated assessment of MTSS implementation. Time is spent each month during our MTSS school leadership meetings to unpack the FAMS and make connections to current work within the school and district. Schools have set actionable goals based off of their FAMS results. Previously, professional learning and coaching was delivered to each school around defining core and intervention protocols at their school level. This year, the district leadership team used these school level matrices to develop countywide standard protocols in the areas of attendance, behavioral health, and academics. These resources will provide our schools with support around defining core and research-based supplemental and intensive supports. We are in the final stages of reviewing these standard protocol matrices with appropriate stakeholder groups for feedback and changes. Bedford County Schools is excited to soon be able to implement district finalized standard protocol matrices in the area of attendance, behavioral health, and academics. As a part of our data evaluation, we created an NC STAR FAMS crosswalk for administrators and school leaders to utilize. Our goal is for school improvement teams to see MTSS as total school improvement and make connections between the FAMS and SIT goals. Each school also implements eight-week professional learning cycles around their specific school needs. By working very intentionally, many schools have aligned their professional learning cycles with their work around MTSS implementation. Then, this work becomes relevant and meaningful. All the puzzle pieces fit together to ensure total school improvement for all. Thank you for joining us on our journey around MTSS. We hope it's been a memorable experience, and we hope that you've enjoyed the stops and views along the way.